I wrote and launched a Wall Street Journal best-selling book in less than five months and even beat out some big names like Alex Hormozzi, Grant Cardone, and more in the first week. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it by leveraging five principles. And these five principles have also helped me exceed my quota 13 years in a row as well. These have served me well, and whether you want to write a book or crush it in sales, I hope these serve you well too. And it starts with number one, research and validate the F out of your ICP, your ideal customer profile. Before I even wrote a single word, I wasn't sure if anyone would even buy or read my potential book as this is just an idea in my head. So I put a post out on social media and received a ton of positive reinforcement and ideas from my target market. I actually even had people find my Venmo and start sending me cash before I even had one word written. Since I was my ICP at one point and had been working for over a decade with insane results, I had a pretty good idea on what would resonate. However, I still did my research and test out messaging with a book title, subtitles, topics, etc. This actually helped me tighten my messaging and what I wrote about in the book. By doing this proactively, this increased the chances of the book actually being relevant and useful to them. That's why it's been really cool so far to see so many awesome reviews and messages such a short time after I launched it. Now, from a sales perspective, I did similar things before even running sales calls. So for instance, when I first changed companies in 2011 and started a whole new industry, I went and cold called by foot over 300 businesses. I was essentially researching and validating my ideal customer profile, identified a clear need major issues with competition, and that I could capture a slice of that pie. I then also started testing out my messaging to see what would resonate with my ICP and started booking meetings very quickly as a result. Number two, model success. Now, I don't have the answers, and I know there are so many other wildly successful sales authors and business authors out there. So instead of trying to recreate the wheel, I started looking at the most popular sales books. It wasn't to copy their content, but I want to understand how do they write their books, what made them great, what do readers like about them. I also looked at the top New York Times and Wall Street Journal best selling nonfiction business books. Like how do they write their books? How do they find a balance of tactical info with stories? What do they do wildly well to create a valuable book that the market would want? I simply modeled the process and structure of the proven formats so I had a place to work off of. This is no different than being in sales. In any new role, I've always made sure to get to know all the top performers. I want to know and understand how they thought, how they processed, how they ran the routine, how they prospected, etc. The funny part is that most of them have no idea what's actually making them successful. So I had to read between the lines and look for patterns for repeatable success. I know success leaves clues, so all I have to do is find them and model them. Number three, the iceberg principle. What you may see right now is a best-selling book with thousands of copies sold in a very short time. You may also see that I wrote it in less than five months, but the reality is that you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Even though it took me less than five months to write and launch, I actually spent 15 years in the trenches doing the job. That's prospecting, running sales calls, closing, lean sales teams, etc. That's 15 years of research, trial and error, and seeing what actually works to get results. So when you actually do the math, five months out of 15 years is only 2% of the time. That's the 2% of the tip of the iceberg as you see right now, and the remaining 98% below the surface was all the time it took getting to this point. It's also very similar to my sales journey because on the exterior, people saw Presence Club award trips, records getting broken, tons of promotions, riding corporate jets, etc. The 2%. But what most did not see was the hours I spent practicing my craft, testing messaging, learning from mentors, putting the right hours in, etc. The 98% that actually made the 2% rise to the top. And if you want the 2% to show consistently, then you gotta make sure the 98% is done properly. Number four, leverage content with context. There are countless blog posts, videos, articles, etc., on how to write a good book. There are also thousands of how to write a book courses out there. There is no shortage of content, but content still means trial and error. And I wanted context with the content, meaning I want a clear direction insight from someone that could help me avoid the time tax of learning. I wanted someone to bounce ideas off of. So I invested $20,000 into an author coach and I did this before I even started writing. She was incredible because she was able to help me structure the whole book out and then help me gain clarity on exactly how to do it. This cut my learning curve down drastically and that's how I was able to 
able to decide to write and actually finish the first draft of over 48,000 words in three months. I've already made the investment back, and the best part is, is that it will pay lifelong dividends. I've done the same thing with sales and leadership coaches and mentors in the past to help save time and accelerate my learning curve. For instance, in one of my sales leadership roles I got promoted into, they had an overabundance of content. Tons of PowerPoint decks, documents, policies, all things to go through and read. Tons of great content. But again, I wanted context with the content. So I had a super successful operations leader to mentor and coach me. He had been a top performing rep, leader, and operations leader as well. He helped me learn and adapt way faster as a result. So my results came faster. So it was no surprise I had Presence Club that year as well, even though others had told me that I was in a market that was impossible to hit Presence Club in. This is the power of content with context. Number five, laser focus in execution. I run a seven-figure coaching business with a small team, so it means I wear a lot of hats still from creating and filming content like this, working with clients to help them crush it, creating strategy, leading coaching my teams, reviewing metrics, creating ads, etc. So my time is limited and I get pulled in a lot of different directions. And the fact that I'm big on spending time with my family, my son, working out, and just life in general, it's a lot and it's easy to not get done what you need to get done. But one thing that's been key for me is being crystal clear with exactly what needs to be done that will move the needle the most and then cutting out what does not serve me. For instance, to write a book, the number one thing that must get done, writing. I know, it sounds crazy simple, but I've talked to a lot of people who've been trying to write a book for years, but they still have not done it yet because they lack laser focus and execution. It's blocking the time out, cutting out everything else that's not relevant to it, and then getting it done. It's doing less, but achieving more. It's addition by subtraction. It's the same with sales. There is so much that happens in the sales pros day from making calls, sending emails, following up, researching, Slack messages, responding to emails, whatever. But the truth is, most things are a distraction. What actually moves the needle are IPAs, income producing activities. As a sales rep, that was my number one focus each day. Everything else is just noise. I cut out as much as possible the non-IPAs and focus as much time as possible with IPAs only. As a result, I saw it reflected in my results and income. So there you have it, the five principles I leverage to write a Wall Street Journal best-selling book in less than five months that you can leverage to crush it in sales too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want a copy of this book for free, head to the link in the description. Just cover the shipping handling and I'll send it over. Also, let me know below in the comments which principle resonates most with you. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.